This is what I made for a client recently. And let's see how I did this. This is where I started the dress from the basic pattern. And from here, I'm going to modify it to make something great. All right. The very first thing I did was I made the sleeve. It's very simple, just a half sleeve. So when I made the basic sleeve pattern, I sewed it here and then here and then made the cuff. How? Pretty simple. I added into a line here and then cut and sew it. Then made this pattern a bit smaller. This cuff is elastic. So I added the elastic to the pattern. And when I was happy with the sleeve, I copied and symmetrically pasted it to the other side. Told you it's very simple. It's time to make the placket. Just like the cuff, I added into a line here, around 20 millimeter. So this is the width of the placket. Then again, cut and sew. And then I selected this line and added pattern outline. 20 millimeter here as well. All right, for now, I'm going to make a simple placket. I'm going to add detail later. And trust me, it's going to give me nightmare. Anyway, I just took this right pattern on top and the left pattern bottom, basically the button up position. And right now, you don't need this sewing. So just delete this. And then I added into a line right in the middle and then sewed it. So we have the foundation of the placket. All right, as you can see here, the skirt starts from the waist area. So I adjusted the shirt to the waist. And when I was adjusting these shirts, the most important things on my mind was fittings. That's why I also added a dirt here to fit it properly because fittings is everything. All right, next, the collar. So I added a simple rectangle, then sewed it with the neckline and slats and spread kind of here to fit the neck. And then I layer cloned over it to have the same pattern over it. Then removed the linked editing, deleted the sewing, and then sewed it like this. And then adjusted a bit to have a basic collar. I'm gonna make it better, but for now, leave it like this. All right, the shirt itself looks very amazing, even if it's just a base. Great. Now it's time to make the skirt. So I started with the ellipse pattern, then made a hole in the middle, then I sewed it with the shirt pattern, except the placket pattern. Then I added a point 20 millimeter away from this point. So there will be four new points. And from those points, I added line like this and cut it and then deleted it. And then I adjusted the skirt a bit so it looks kind of nice. Then I added a placket pattern, which is a rectangle pattern for the skirt. Then I sewed it with the skirt. Same here. And I did the same thing as I did with the shirt placket. And then I connected them by sewing them together. It's very important. And as you can see, dress, this is divided into two gathering skirts. So I made another skirt just like I made this skirt. It's very simple. I mean, not very simple, but quite very simple. This time, I sewed here and here like this and adjusted a lot. Great. All right. This is very important. Fabric. This is a default fabric, which is quite heavy and using it will not give you a great result here. So I highly recommend you to use a lighter fabric like poplin. Cool. Here, I did this exact same thing with the placket as I did earlier. Amazing. So this is a basic shape. Now I have to make it amazing with details. Just make sure your base shape looks good enough and you are happy with that because if it's not good, then nothing will be good. All right. I started detailing the dress with this pose and I will change it later because I don't like this pose too much. I don't know why I have chosen this anyway. So I started with the collar. It's very simple. Just select this one, layer clone over, make sure it's on top. Then right click, remove linked editing, and again right click, symmetric pattern with sewing. Then delete the outer sewing. The segment sew here and here. Select all. Reduce the particle distance as well as skeleton thickness. And simulate. <sighs> Quite a hassle. 
and do the exact same thing with this pattern. And if you didn't understand, go watch it again, please. Anyway, select this segment and this segment, offset as internal line, 5 millimeter, and hit OK. Select these segments, offset as internal line, same 5 millimeter, and hit OK. And segments on like this. And again, do the same thing on this pattern and simulate. And the detailed color is ready. All right, now it's time for the bracket. But spoiler alert, it's a bit tricky, at least for me. Not hard, but tricky. So what I did here, I selected this and layer cloned over it. Make sure it's on top, the same as the color. Otherwise, it will be problematic with sewings. Right click, remove linked editing, delete the sewing, and delete this sewing also, as well as this sewing. Sew like this and like this. Select both patterns, reduce the particle distance and collision thickness. So watch carefully. This is the front placket. And if you observed or made it in real life, you know that placket is double layered fabric. So you have to make it here to make it look amazing. Now do the same thing here. Now select this, 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 and this. Internal line, maybe four millimeter and hit OK and sew them together. Now I'm going to do something that will represent as button up. I'm not going to be using the default glow 3D button feature because it's still kind of buggy. All right, select these segments, offset as internal line, just type the number that suits you the most. And hey, here I am in a mistake. I added too many buttons, which is very uncomfortable to wear. So don't make this mistake, please. All right, now, I want to make these lines smaller for the both patterns at the same time. Here's an amazing trick. Just take this pattern and put it on top of it. Select all internal lines like this with transform point tool selected. Double click in the middle to activate the pivot and drag it to make it small. There you go. Now observe carefully, you have to sew from this pattern to this pattern. Do not mess this up, please. Segments are like this, all the buttons, and then segments are like this. Yes, again, all the lines. And finally, simulate. If everything went okay, it's gonna look morphless. And lastly, just free saw from here to here. All right, I just showed you how to make a more realistic placket for the shirt. And for the skirt, just follow the same step. I know you can make it. And when one placket is done, don't forget to sew both placket patterns like this. And if you do it correctly, it's gonna look something like this. Something beautiful like this. Great. And what a nightmare. All right, let's fix the sleeve. First, reduce the particle distance of the sleeve pattern as well as the cuff pattern. Now select these patterns and layer clone under. Right click, remove linked editing. Again, right click. Symmetric pattern with sewing. Delete the auto sewing and sew like this. Select this internal lines, 4 mm, and hit OK. Sew them together as well. And lastly, add elastic for all the segments. And you are quite done. And very lastly, especially to make your PC cry, you can divide the skirt pattern like this and then cut and sew. And for the individual patterns, you can lower the particle distance accordingly and simulate and wait maybe drink a coffee or grab a popcorn or you can have it after a long wait it's worth it isn't it so as i said earlier i didn't like the pose so much so i changed the pose to a natural pose i mean the a pose and this is the final piece for the client but for my render i posed it again added textures lighting and this is the final render please let me know your thought on this one until then, happy simulating. Bye.